Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to do a quick little video on a spare tire. Uh, a lot of people that buy the Bass Trackers, the Classics, uh, the Heritage, the Classic XL, I'm not sure about the others, uh, but the spare tires are two to three hundred dollars. I don't remember exactly how much, but you can get them a lot cheaper online. I'm going to show you what I got. I'll put some clips in. I got all the, the parts off of Amazon and by parts, I mean the tire the rim they come together and the carrier which you need to secure the tire to the trailer um so all these parts came off amazon the tire was with tax roughly 90 dollars shipped came from florida i live in illinois uh it was here in a few days uh, they shipped it very quick uh and it was ready to go full of air good to go the carrier i got off amazon it was roughly 11 dollars uh and it Surprisingly, it said it was going to be here around the 30th, I think, because of uh, with the coronavirus going on. A lot of things on Amazon have that delayed date. But what I'm finding is when I order them, you get them a lot quicker anyway. So I got that, you know, within probably five days. I'll talk about the tire. Uh, if you're looking for one, what you need to look for. Just a quick little video to show you the tire size and lock that I'm going to use and see if uh, it'll help you out. Okay, let's go take a look. Okay, so here down here is the spot where the tire goes. And you can see you have this bracket right here that you can attach your uh, carrier that you buy uh, to it to hold the tire to the trailer and to be able to lock it so no one steals it. Um, I ended up, here's the carrier I bought. Now, it was much too long. I didn't like these sticking up far. So, you know, I hacksawed them off and both sides. And so there's the carrier. Here is the specific product. It is a Atwood spare tire carrier. Uh, it fits in those slots perfectly. And like I said, I'll put a link on there. Or I'll add a picture of the Amazon page so you can see that. link. Uh, the tire I picked up was also from Amazon with tax. It was about $90. Uh, they do have nicer ones for, I forget if it was, you know, 100, 120, somewhere in there that have the rims that match the, or at least they're chrome, like the rims that come on the Classic XL. Since being a spare, I didn't see any need to uh, spend the extra money uh, because hopefully I'll never need to use it. So it's just going to sit under the boat. I don't care what it looks like. Uh, but if you do, they're available to get them for not much more with the chrome rim. Um, this specific size is a 185-80-13. This is a five lug pattern, obviously. And when they say uh, four and a half inches, they mean from this hole to this hole on center so if you put a tape measure on there from center to center that is going to measure four and a half inches <clears throat> and it does i checked it that's what i needed that's what anybody with these trailer needs and so let's take a look I'm, we'll put this on there and see how it sits okay so take this tire and throw it underneath here and now what i was thinking when I first seen this, that it would slide up more towards the front, you know, as far as it would go. Uh, but that's just not the case. And I've checked it out. I've looked at other pictures. And they sit pretty far back. And that's one of the reasons I cut it. I didn't want those, uh, that bracket sticking up really far. And, you know, have the potential of the boat hit it. Probably not possible. Other people might not cut them, but I want you know, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I cut it. And plus, you'll be screwing these uh, brackets on for, you know, <laughs> forever. Or if you need to get it off, you'll be screwing these on forever. As you'll see, I'm going to show you. So for me, you got to pick two of these to go into. one and two now it's in there 
And let me put one on so I can show you, or I'll actually show you how this works. You just start screwing it like that until it locks down tight. Just like that. Let's see what kind of view you got here. Okay, so yeah, you can you can see that. I'm gonna zoom in a little. I'll give you a closer view here. So you put these on and you just keep uh, screwing them on the, the bracket, the bolt, until they're as tight as you want it. And then you swing them close to each other so that one will overlap the other. And then for me, I'm gonna keep a lock on there so no, no one can take it, you know, while I'm out fishing or park somewhere. Um, but that's it, it's secure, it's not going anywhere. See what it looks like underneath. And there you have it. Uh, pretty simple, uh, probably about as cheap as you can go for uh, getting a spare tire. That's what it looks like from far away. Um, so I hope that helps you out. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time.